Are you thinking about getting your first investment property in Ventura County? If so, you don't want to miss this video. What is up you guys? I'm Brian the Beekeeping Realtor. Welcome to my channel. Today we're talking all about investment properties, what you need to know, common things that you should avoid, and everything in between. So let's just jump right in, but before we do, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and let's get started. So when investing in real estate, there are two main ways that investors use to generate wealth. Now, there's a lot of ways that we're not going to talk about in this video, but we're going to focus on the two that you should use starting out. So the first way to make money in real estate, which I really recommend for beginners, is going to be doing fix and flips. Okay, This is buying a property that needs some love, getting it fixed up, and getting it sold for a profit. Now here's the thing with fix and flips you can lose a lot of money on fix and flips, okay? Repairs are expensive. Doing anything with real estate is expensive. And without fail, when you open up a wall, you find more problems, okay? So you need to be very careful with the types of properties you're looking for when you're starting out. You typically wanna look for a home that needs something like carpet, paint, cosmetic stuff. Don't work on homes that need a lot of functional stuff, foundation problems, galvanized plumbing, asbestos. Avoid all of the complicated stuff when you're starting. You ideally want a home that just needs carpet, paint, and maybe a few other cosmetic things. So before you can offer on any home, you have to figure out the ARV. ARV is the after repair value of a home. So once you figure out, hey, this house is worth a million bucks, let's say, right? You then want to take off about 10%. Even if you find a property that's in perfect shape, you're going to buy it and sell it, you want to have at least a 10% fudge factor. That's going to cover realtors and taxes and fees and surprises and all the stuff in between and still leave you enough money to make it worth it, okay? So for a property that's in perfect shape, you're looking at about 90%. If you have to do repairs, you then start subtracting the cost of repairs to figure out the maximum you can pay for the property. In general, a place that needs a lot of love, you're going to want to offer around 70% of the ARV. In general, a property that needs basically no love, you can do around 90% of the ARV. Now these numbers are going to vary a lot. It's going to depend on the cost that you think you can get stuff fixed up for. Are you doing the work yourself? There's a lot of factors that kind of dictate where these numbers lie, and that's why a lot of investors are willing to offer very different amounts depending on the property. But if you stick to these rough guidelines, you should be on the right track. The second method of investing is going to be called buy and hold. These are people that are renting out properties. To figure out what a good deal when you're doing a buy and hold is, is going to be to use what's called the cap rate. Cap rate is the amount of money that a property generates per year divided by the purchase price. So for example, if a property generated $1,000 a year on a $100,000 property, that's a 1% cap rate. Now some people will factor in other aspects like property management, repairs, that kind of stuff into their cap rate. For us, let's keep it simple and use the gross. We're going to assume the property you're getting is in good shape. If it's not, you kind of got to go back to that fix and flip number to figure out what makes sense before we get too, too into it, right? As a beginner, I would love to see you get 1% higher cap rate than your interest rate. That would be ideal. That way you're generating more money than you're probably spending on the mortgage. But out here in Ventura County, properties appreciate pretty quickly. It's really competitive. So in our area right now, interest rates are between seven and eight for most folks. We're seeing cap rates between four and 6% really prevailing. So right now, even though I think you should try to aim for a 7 or 8% cap rate if you can, to get a good deal in Ventura County, you're probably looking between 4 and 6. So let's talk common pitfalls. Before you invest anywhere, you want to know the area really well. Ideally, live there or have lived there before you invest because you don't know what you don't know, okay? In Ventura County, we have fault lines and galvanized plumbing and asbestos and all kinds of stuff, fires. I mean, our fire insurance right now is just crazy, right? You don't know what you don't know. And if you're not from the area, you don't know that, hey, this area is near a fault line or this is where it floods. You can buy a property that seems like a great deal, but is actually a nightmare. You also want to be near wherever you're investing because look, your first couple of years, you're not gonna make a lot of money, right? Until the property increases in value, unless you've got a killer cap rate, 
you're not going to be generating a lot of revenue off of your real estate. And if you pay a property management company, they usually eat up all your profit the first couple years. So you're going to want to be nearby so that if you don't manage the property yourself, at least you can go out and change the light bulbs and fix a sink if you have to. Because when contractors come in and do that, it costs a lot. So being nearby will really help you understand the property. It will help you come out and fix things and save a lot of costs to make your profit better. Now look, there's a lot going on in this video and we can't talk about all of it. There are some investors that have decades and decades and decades of knowledge that even I don't come close to matching, okay? So when it comes to investing, don't feel overwhelmed. It can be as complicated or as simple as you want it to be. But at the end of the day, if you need help, call Castro and let's do some deals. Let's make you some money. And I look forward to chatting.